matter what happened, I got your back. Baby, that's the facts, yeah. That's the facts, yeah. Hey. That's that real music, man. Come back home. Scream, also known as Screen 5, is a 2022 American slasher film directed by Matt Bettinelli, Olpin, and Tyler Gillette, and written by James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick, which formed a collective known as Radio Silence. It is the fifth installment in the Scream franchise, and though billed as a relaunch of the film series, the film is a direct sequel to Scream 4, which was released in 2011, and the first in the series not to be directed by Wes Craven since his passing in 2015. The film is actually dedicated to Craven at the beginning and closing of the credits. The film stars franchise writer David Arquette, Nev Campbell, and Courtney Cox, and newcomers Melissa Barria, Jana Ortega, Jack Quaid, Dylan Minnette, Misha Gooding, Jasmine Savoy, Brown, Mikey Madison, and Sonia Ben Am Amar, with Marley Shelton, Ski Ulrich, Heather Matrazo, and Roger L. Jackson reprising their roles from previous installment. In this film, a new killer has donned a ghost race mask and begins targeting a group of teenagers to resurrect secrets from the town's deadly past. To be fairly honest with you, I had no faith in this film, thanks to the first trailer. For some reason, it looked very, very bad, but I still went into the film with a neutral mind and just as a simple viewer of the newest entry of the Scream franchise. And after a two hour runtime, I could say that I enjoyed and liked Scream. Generally, I would say that this made be the best sequel in the franchise next to Scream 4, and is a great tribute legacy sequel to the late great Wes Craven. There were a few things in the film that made it work for me. The story was actually entertaining, it kept me entertained and intrigued throughout the runtime, and that leads into the writing. The writing in Scream has always been a mixture of meta commentary of the horror and film genre as a whole. Scream takes that and runs with it beautifully. I found myself laughing at some of the references so hard, I may have been the only one laughing because I got and loved those jokes. It like it was awesome and it was just it was great i loved it i really did love it but the other pieces of comedy stuck too and the writing is just clever taking steps to create new ideas and get some plays out of the west craven playbook and the characters were good some of the newer characters were a bit boring and one-dimensional aka the red herrings but for the most part they were all fun and unique additions to the franchise however two things that i wanted to discuss about this film that was a bit of a downer for me would be the handling of the legacy cast and the reveal twist at the end no spoilers of course the way the legacy cast was dealt with in this film was a bit disappointing i know this is about bringing together the old and new generation of scream to pass it on to this new generation and get them introduced to it but it just felt like they were very like they were just added to the film just calm everyone down and say it's not a reboot and the killer reveal was kind of predictable especially if you're paying attention you can probably guess within the halfway point besides those two downs the film itself still holds up as a massive up scream was released on january 14th 2022 on a budget of 24 million dollars as of january 15th 2022 as this review is being written it has grossed 13.3 million at the box office which could be a subject to change overall scream 5 or scream 2022 is a welcome addition into the franchise whether they choose to leave it at five or make more movies it's safe to say that the folks at Radio Silence have done a great job of recapturing the spirit of the franchise and paying tribute to the late great Wes Craven. I'm going to give Scream 2022 a 7.5 out of 10.